A ventricular septal defect, or VSD, is a condition that allows shunting between the left and right ventricles. In later stages of the disease, pressure may equalise so it's difficult to see a shunt and eventually reverse so that we now see a shunt from the right to the left ventricle. This is known as Eisenmenger syndrome. There are four types of VSDs. In this video, we are going to focus on the most common type of VSD, a perimembranous VSD. This is located in the LVOT, just proximal to the aortic valve. So in our long axis, we would expect to see it here. There is also muscular VSDs. These occur across the septum, anywhere outside of the region in the muscular part. And there are supracrystal and also inlet VSDs. We're not going to cover them in this video, but they will be on our course. So do get in touch if you want to attend our course where we do go into more depth on our VSDs. The first thing you need to do is visually inspect your 2D image. See if you can actually see a gap or areas of echo dropout. It's not always obvious in the 2D image, so now you can use colour Doppler to guide you. Place your colour box over the left ventricular outflow tract and the aortic valve, aortic root, and look to see if you can see a shunt from left to right. Split screen mode is really helpful in this case. The basal short axis view is another great view for visualising shunts. Put your colour Doppler over the aortic valve and you can see in this dog's case we have a left to right shunt here. This was a really brief overview of the most obvious signs of a VSD on echo. Other things to look out for that frequently accompany VSDs are aortic regurgitation, a dilated left ventricle, a dilated right ventricle and pulmonary artery, and pulmonary hypertension. We really hope this video was helpful for you. If there are any other pathologies or views you would like us to cover, please leave your suggestions in the comments below.